Hey guys, welcome back to The Gun Collective. I'm Doc Brown, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the M&P 2.0 45 Compact. But first, let's hear from our sponsors. 1776 United offers some of the most patriotic and pro 2A apparel you can imagine. Whether you like your tea in the harbor or your Molon Labade, or maybe you just prefer some subtle liberty and freedom. Either way, you won't get treaded on when you use the code TGC10 to get 10% off your entire order over at 1776united.com. All right, the 45 Compact probably isn't the most popular model in the M&P lineup, but it does have some valuable merits. Let's get into some of the specs first. The weight on this thing is 27 ounces, which is beefy, but it's a 45 ACP. It comes with two magazines that are 10 rounds, and then you can put one in the gun, so that gives you 11. It has a new and improved trigger, which they say in the description has an audible reset, and it does, but I still feel like this trigger is lacking in a lot of areas. It's mushy, the reset is meh. Luckily, there's a lot of aftermarket triggers out there for the M&P line. I think it's almost a necessity if you pick up an M&P to switch the trigger. I really wish they'd get it right, but they haven't got it right yet, in my opinion. It's almost like plastic lock sights. They're just placeholders. You're gonna swap them out. We all know it. The forward cocking serrations are new for the 2.0 line, and these cocking serrations really don't do anything. They are very, very tiny, and I'd almost wish that they would take $50 off the price tag if they just wouldn't give me these poor attempt at slide serrations. So. They're there. If you want to try to use them, go ahead. The back ones, of course, are good. I wish they would have taken these back cocking serrations and put them up front. I don't know why they gave us these piddly little ones, but they did. Moving down, this gun has grip texture and it's really good grip texture. It's probably the best factory grip texture that I've seen. I don't really appreciate any pistols that come from the factory with grip texture. They don't do much. I end up retexturing them or putting talon grips on them or something like that. But this grip texture on the M&P 2.0 is really, really nice. It's aggressive, sticks to my hand. I don't think there's anything additional I would do to this grip. Mag release on here can be swapped. I have it on the right hand side, but you can swap it to the left hand side if you're lefty. Slide stop is ambidextrous. Takedown lever and, and disassembly is the exact same as the first line of M&Ps. It has a little bar here on the side, flip that down. Look in here, you flip your little yellow lever down, or you could do it the old fashioned way and pull the trigger, and it's apart. Lock it back into place, flip your bar up, you're back in business. Sights on top are steel. They're the traditional three dot white sights from Smith & Wesson. They are good sights because they're steel. I can work with that. I know they're not gonna break off. I would prefer a little bit more high vis sights, but you can swap these out. There's plenty of options to get different sights on the market. Shooting this gun was a blast, honestly. It shoots really soft. I know 45 ACP isn't the most popular round. It gets overlooked a lot now. Nine millimeter is king, but it suppresses really well. If you wanted to throw a threaded barrel in, in this gun and run a can on it, it's gonna be a very soft, quiet shooting round out of a can. It was very accurate. Um, ammunition went quick because there's only 10 rounds in the magazine. There's not a lot to complain about with this gun. If you have a huge stockpile of 45 ACP and need to shoot it, this would be a good candidate to do it with. If you're still a big believer in the 45 ACP, this would also be a great gun to carry. It's 10 rounds, but I mean, that's nothing to scoff at. And it's a good size to carry, I think. The shorter barrel, not gonna dig into you as much when you sit down and move around. The weight at 27 ounces is a little heavy, but I feel like that can be overlooked. It's, it's a good gun, it's reliable. The M&P line is proven. Again, there's not a lot to gripe about with this gun. All right guys, so that's a quick down and dirty on the M&P 45 Compact. Hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the 45 Compact. Is 45 ACP dead? I wanna hear from you guys. We appreciate all that feedback you guys give us. Hit that like button, subscribe to The Gun Collective. Go check us out on our other social media outlets. We got a lot of great con content going on over there. My name's Doc Brown. We'll see you on the next video.